being in Las Vegas seems, is known as Sin City. You think, oh, I'm, it's so hard to go to school. I can't have the spirit with me. You can make your surroundings better and you can make holy places. I believe that when youth are sharing their testimony of the Savior Jesus Christ, they stand in holy places. Well, the reason we're on this earth is to improve. And I truly believe that the gospel gives us a desire to improve ourselves in every area. If you want to do a good job at something, you have to work. You can't just expect it to come. Especially with this concert where I have a big solo and I've never played a solo before. I've done all that I can. I've prayed, I've studied the life of Christ, and I've asked Heavenly Father to help me prepare. I've put it into the Lord's hands, and I know that I've put forth my effort, and He is going to take care of the rest of it. I've learned that He builds us to accomplish His work. The moment that we step into that room and begin to sing and play, it's not, you know, Tara and Jessica and all these different people, but it's disciples of Christ and representatives of Him. It's so incredible to see youth that, who have that testimony and who want to come together and practice and share what they know about the gospel. If I didn't have a testimony, I don't know where I would be. What choices would I have made different? And that my life, when I think about it, would be totally different. When you bear your testimony, you pretty much make wherever you are a holy place. It strengthens your testimony and strengthens others who really want to listen, who have the spirit with them to listen. We are doing things for the Savior, and we're not doing it for ourselves, and we're doing it for others. That's what the Savior wants, is to not think of yourself, but to think of other people, and to stand by those who stand in need of comfort and to reach out to people, and that's what we're doing here. Being Zion's youth to me is standing as a witness of Him and just declaring to the world that He lives and the message of hope and peace that He has to offer. to bear your testimony. I mean, like, for me, it's music. For some, it's talking. For some, it's just doing service or just being kind to people, and that's how they bear their testimony. So wherever you are, you can bloom where you're planted and make where you are a special place and a holy place.